What's up guys, today I'll be doing a review on the Razer Pro Double X Scooter. Let's start this off. So here it is. Fully stock. Nothing different. No upgrades. I did paint the bars myself. Uh, otherwise, they're the same. So, start at the top. So here, we got the Razer grips with somewhat of bar ends. I'm not sure what those are. So, they're pretty good. Uh, I'd give them 10 out of 10 for what you get. $60, not bad. Uh, that's the color of the bars. Anyway, uh, now to the clamp. This is a double clamp, uh, not bad, does what it's supposed to do. And the headset, uh, it's not that good, but it moves pretty good. Uh, the wheel, uh, the bearings are pretty good. Uh, I'll show you. So yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, wheels are pretty big uh, the fork pretty much sucks uh, the deck is pretty strong uh, pretty good for the price again and the grip tape it's got that design uh, it's pretty good does what it's supposed to do uh, the brake uh, I'd say I like the grip, but it's just not dialed, which sucks. Uh, once again, another back wheel. Uh, it's got this little plastic thing. I don't know. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but the plastic piece broke off to the back of the brake, which sucks. Uh, so I've had this for like a month. It's pretty good. It rolls really smooth. Uh, I paid sixty dollars for it. Totally worth it. Uh, it's good for beginners. Uh, you know, if you don't want to buy a hundred dollars worth. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much. All there is, uh, it, it's not dialed at all, like, it, that's the only bad part. Otherwise, I, this scooter is pretty good, uh, I prefer it, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and...